Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mixed New Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at grading flat footage inside of Premiere Pro. Now, I know a lot of guys, the first time they see flat footage, they kind of freak out and don't know what to do. But if you think about it, it's really pretty easy to do. What it is, is just footage with less contrast and less saturation, so your camera can take in more of the scene without clipping. So, how do you deal with something that has less contrast and less saturation? you add more contrast and more saturation. It's just that simple. There's no crazy magic formula to it. You just sort of punch it up until it looks good. So here I've got this nice little behind the scenes clip of Coulter Wall and Michael Gomez, the famous Michael Gomez, great guy. Go to effects, lumetri color, drag that on your clip. Now you go to your effect controls, you get all this crazy stuff. So we'll go to basic correction and then we just turn the contrast up. You can see this is a little bit dark for me, so we can just do it a couple different ways. I'm going to nudge the exposure up just a little bit. I'm going to make this more like 0.5. Maybe bring our highlights down a little bit. Bring our shadows up. Blacks down a little bit. I'm just sort of doing this by eye. You can use scopes, but a lot of times when people use scopes, they look more at their scopes than they look at their footage, and it's much more important to make it look good here than on your scopes because nobody's going to see the scopes in the end. So now we've got our luminance contrast looking pretty good. You can just sort of start upping the saturation. And now you can see we've got a pretty nice looking little shot there. So we look at before and after. It's just that simple. And say we want these highlights back, we can just bring them back some. Because flat footage, you've got all this great latitude. Maybe you want it punchier, turn the contrast up. You can see this shot's maybe a little bit green because of some LEDs. So you can bring the tint to magenta not something you need to worry about with this very basic tutorial. Now, if you say, Theo, that is too much work. I don't want to do that. You can try the auto feature, which does a bad job. Or what you can also do, or what I do whenever I'm being lazy, is look at the Creative tab, go to Browse, and now I've got this house LUTs pack. You can find meastermedia.com slash products. There are lots of other LUT packs out there. They're you know, do all sorts of things, but they're basically just grading presets or little extra things you can do. So I made this one specifically for this purpose, make it normal, which sort of just adds contrast and saturation. You see, it's a little bit dark in this one, so you can just bring this guy back up again. And now that's nice and crunchy. And whenever you add a LUT down here, as opposed to up here in the basic correction, you can bring the intensity down. So say I just want, you know, 64%. That's pretty good. And even when you do that, you can still adjust all the other controls. So you may want more saturation. Pretty good, pretty quick. Don't really have to think. All good. So anyway, I hope that demystifies it a little bit. There is no magic. It's not hard to grade flat footage at all. People just are afraid of it because they think color grading some sort of crazy dark art, and it's not. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, go to meestermedia.com slash products. Check out the House Let's Pack. We've also got the Carnival Power Grades, which if you're a little more advanced, going to DaVinci Resolve. Those are like Let's, but you can change everything inside of them, and it's they do more stuff, and they're super, super cool. And then Bright Lights Light Leak Pack, which makes everything better. And it's super easy. So, once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.